This is my Kaiwai CM23 digital piano. Like all digital pianos, after a few years, it developed some keys that would sometimes not play or would randomly play at full volume. I find out this is because there's dirty contacts inside the piano that have to be cleaned. I couldn't find any videos on how to take apart this uh, piano, so I worked out myself and took a video uh, for anyone else who might like to know after me. The first step is to remove the 10 screws that hold down the keyboard. Under the keyboard there are the flat headed ones. The only ones that you will need to ignore are the round headed ones right at the end which hold on the control panels at either end of the keyboard. Here I've taken my piano off the stand. Turns out I didn't need to do it, but here we go. First, the next step is to take off the top and there are four screw holes, uh, screws to remove and then you can just pull the top forwards and it will come off. Then the next step is going to be removing this keyboard cover. So you see these little gears at the end, we need to unscrew these and then pull them back just to move slightly further down the slot. Uh, it's a bit tricky here, I think I had to end up using a screwdriver and I did this on both sides and then it could lift away and you could pull it off. Another thing we need to remove is this plastic bar that's sitting uh, over the keys. That's held on by four screws. There's two at the end and there's uh, these two in these metal bars uh, in the middle. Right, now we've got to disconnect this electrical connector from the keyboard to the main circuit board. Just undo it from the little um, thing, and then pull it off. Now I'm about to make a comedy error here. See if you can spot it. When removing the keyboard, well, I hadn't realised, so pulling at the end, there was a um, little connector there, which I should have connected to. It wasn't damaged, though, unfortunately. So, when you get the keyboard out, you can take it, turn it over, and then we can finally see the contacts, but not yet have access to them. The contacts are all under these little rubber bits here on the other side. But to get access to them, we have to first undo all of these screws to get to the other side. There's two circuits boards held together by these little cables. So I've already taken one apart. I'm going to show you how you take apart the other one. We pull up these little um, things on either side. Then it should you should be able to tease it out. I think if it does not come out, just make sure you yeah lift out those things a bit more. Then it should finally come out. There we go. So I've unscrewed that. Let's turn it over. And now we can see all those rubber parts are what the keys hit uh, to make sound. And obviously dust has got underneath them uh, somehow. I think if you zoom in here you can see the problem. You see all the dust and dirt that's built up around here. I think that's what has got under, the, under these uh, contacts. I think when those rubber bits are pushed down and then come back up again, they keep pushing out and pulling in air. And that keeps, um, and that's how the dust gets under. Yeah, looking horrible there, isn't it? So these uh, contacts, we just pull them up fairly gently. So an old trick from my old electronics days, you can quite easily clean contacts just using a standard uh, household eraser. Yeah, we can clean the contacts on the other things. Oh, and there we go. There was a hair. I think there's another hair there as well. Yeah, so you're trying to get all the dirt and debris you can find off these things. 
and also here, that'd be a slightly half arse job, uh, uh, trying to clean the dirt off around the contacts. Off camera did a better job. So now, tricky bit, we've got to get that thing back on, a bit hard to do. I used a paper clip to reattach things. Got to be slightly careful, but, and then you can just go through and uh, push all of the uh, little rubber inserts through. That's it done basically. Then I turned it over and just using a, a pair of tweezers, I uh, just try to pull them completely through to make sure it's making good contact. Right, now we've got to reassemble. Um, first of all, I straightened up the dents I'd made on the cable when I was taking it off. Then with those, get the connector up, just gently place it, and it should go in really easily. And when it's in, just push down the thing that holds it in place. And repeat. Just make sure you've lifted up the container, the hold or whatever. Right. I also get this opportunity to clean the keyboard as best I can, kind of clear out dust and things. Paid a bit more attention to put it back together again. I uh, this time reconnected that little connector, which I think did the power light on the keyboard. Again, taking a bit more opportunity for cleaning bits that are hard to access once I put it after I put it back together again. Yep. Reattach with the actual keyboard to the main circuit board. Now I completely removed all the screws from my keyboard. In case you're actually on the same thing, uh, here's what the screws are. The four on the right, are the, that's two right outside the keyboard holding on the control panels. Those are the main screws holding the keyboard. Four screws hold on the top, and the four screws that hold the piano to the stand. So now I've got to reattach the little protector. So there's two big silver screws and two little ones. The two big ones go in the middle there and the little ones go one either end. Despite there being two holes, it's actually one either end. Thanks. Now, uh, this is how you put the top cover on. I've made another comedy mistake here. That's exactly how you put the cover on and then screw it in. But I've missed a step. You get close, see it doesn't look quite right. And that's because I've forgotten about the keyboard cover. So let's try it again. So keyboard cover, put it in like this. And then once you put it down, you can um, pull those little uh, plastic cogs the other end out and then just screw them in tightly again. then you should put on uh, the top cover. And there we go. A fully working digital piano that no longer has stuck keys, or keys that play full volume. <laughs>